Peter is a Guinness World Record holding skateboarder, but he had to retire from competing when he was diagnosed with neuroendocrine cancer three years ago. It can affect cells in several organs of the body, including the liver. It turns your life into a roller coaster. Just absolutely terrifying, you know, you don't know how long you've got whatsoever. Peter's liver tumours are so small and widespread, they can't be removed through surgery. He had several rounds of radiation therapy and chemotherapy, but these took a heavy toll on him. Fatigue uh, and energy levels were really heavily hit. I had my review and they basically say I wasn't responding to the chemo. But then Peter was offered the chance to undergo a new cancer treatment at St James's Hospital in Leeds. Histotripsy is a type of focused ultrasound which destroys tissue inside the body completely non-invasively. It's much more precise than treatments which use heat or radiation, meaning it could better treat tumours which are small and widespread in vital organs like the liver. US-based tech company Histosonics is running the most advanced histotripsy trial to date. There's tiny, they're nanometer size micro bubbles that naturally exist within tissue. And when we hit a focus point with our ultrasound, it excites those bubbles. And those bubbles expand and collapse and they mechanically destroy tissue. Patients will awake from their procedure and generally, most times, not know that they were ever treated. The team's going to be using standard ultrasound to identify where in Peter's body the tumor is. Then they're going to be using this robotic arm to deliver a much stronger therapeutic type of ultrasound to destroy it. Histosonics technology is focused on the liver because tumours there are notoriously hard to treat and survival rates are low. The hope is histotripsy will give inoperable patients like Peter better treatment options. It just sounded amazing really. At the time, my alternative was uh, basically to go to a stronger, heavier chemo um, and I was hoping not to have to do that. It was, yeah, quite an opportunity. Leeds Teaching Hospital's NHS Trust is one of 16 centres in the US and Europe taking part in the Global Hope for Liver trial. Its aim is to find out how safe and effective the treatment is. Just 46 people worldwide have received the procedure so far, including Peter. We are about to start a treatment here. Professor Tsi Min Hua is overseeing his treatment. Just an ultrasonic wave, and in the middle, next to the cross, you can see the bubble. That's the focal point of the treatment. You can just hear the sound of the bubble cloud. And so can you see bits of the tumour being destroyed right now? Uh, you can see that it's, uh, the, the focal point is destroying the tumour. And as you can see, the bright area here. Early studies have shown histotripsy can also kickstart an immune response that enables the body to fight cancer on its own. This is what tumour cells in rodents looked like before histotripsy. But look at them after. The changing colour shows the immune system has been stimulated to destroy tumour cells. The Hope for Liver trial is investigating how and why histotripsy triggers this response and how reliably it can be seen in humans. Two out of eight patients in a small initial study had this effect. That's, yeah, what I'm really hoping for, is that you get the immune response and it starts to clear up all the disease in the liver. Cancer experts say histotripsy could be a significant breakthrough. It would be potentially game-changing for a lot of cancer patients. You don't need an invasive procedure and you don't need the toxic drugs that we might use as standard chemotherapy. So you could have an example where you used uh, histotripsy to stimulate the immune system, then you come in with the immune activating drugs and they might be able to then finish off the tumour. But there are some concerns. It may release bits of cancer in the process of breaking it up and obviously the big concern there is that if you release cancer cells around the body then you might end up with spread of the cancer to other places. I've not seen any evidence that that's happening but it's something we and I'm sure the trial will be watching out very carefully for. It's not clear yet whether an immune response has been triggered in Peter, but a month after his procedure, Professor Wah was able to show me the results of his treatment. So this is the MRI um, before treatment for Peter, and this is the day after. You can see this area is now uh, totally treated, and the dark area represents uh, cancer cell death. So does that mean that we're looking at a good outcome for Peter potentially at the moment? Yes, early efficacy has proven to be uh, very promising for him and um, the long, uh, we will need to follow him on long term. 
Histosonics is working on an updated version of its machine to sell to hospitals once they've secured regulatory approval. We've developed the platform to be adaptable to almost any part of the body. What we're doing in liver might be the most challenging. It's deep, it moves, and, and those are uh, potential limitations of, of what we're doing, but we've overcome those, and we feel that everything we do beyond this gets easier. There are also early trials separate from histosonics, investigating whether histotripsy can work on other parts of the body. Peter's cancer is now stable, but he still has other tumours in his body, and he's waiting to see whether histotripsy stimulates an immune response before exploring other treatment options. I think no matter what the outcome on the immune response is, I think it's going to be pretty dramatically life-changing anyway. Um, just the, the removal of that lesion, yeah, knowing that that's gone is a huge relief.